You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Hey everybody, it's Dipio. And Nelly. And welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are at Rose's farm. This is Kara, right? This is Kara, because they were driving north in the snow, right? Trying to get to Canada? Yeah. Oh, Alice's family now. I think she's been family. No, we made her family in the... In the last one at the Pirate's Cove? Yeah, I think so. Okay. She was trusted before that? Maybe maybe it was another... Okay, but we were at the Pirate's Cove last time, so how did we get here? Uh, we're at the Pirate's Cove, and then we took off up the road. We drove away. Was there something between the Pirate's Cove? Did we drive away Cove? from Pirate's we Cove? We were driving... That's how we ended up at Pirate's Cove. We were driving in the, um... <laughs> I don't remember, honestly. I am think I'm still so distraught by Connor's, Connor's death. death. <laughs> Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, okay. I really need to see her. I'm Rose. Hello, Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. You lied about Rose. He's so huge. I know. Do you think we can trust him? Um, we're going to trust him. For now. Yeah. Here, get the axe. Where's the axe? Oh, oh he has the to, axe. Talk to Alex. Talk oh, we can to talk Alice. To her? Okay. I'm cold, Kara. We'll get okay. Side. Definitely we'll not an android. Right. That blows my theory out of the water. She sleeps. She gets cold. Unless she's the next stage of android evolution. <laughs> nah. I don't know. You'll have to ask. Uh, Probably just a little what's girl. His name? They say something's weird about her, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that would be yet. She Come killed in. her dad. She could just be programmed to say, I'm cold. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> Alice. She's running a fever. You can tell. The last few nights outside, she's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed, and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? And did he put down the axe? What does this shirt say? I'm not sure. Like. Look, another magazine to read. Woohoo! I think they're not going to let you do it with That's Alice. That's what I think. Probably not. But you can come back down and read it. So I, I am, uh, I'm not saying this to be critical of, of real life or even the game, but Rose's character model looks a little weird. Like, I think they gave her, they made her large, but they didn't make her face necessarily match. Match. I'll have to look next time we talk to her. Like, everybody else kind of looks... Okay, but she she's looking odd to me, and I don't know if that's what it is. Nope, you're just racist. Or uh, sizist, or whatever. Or sizist, yeah. Or whatever ist you want to make up. <laughs> Shapist. <laughs> Triangles. They are impure. <laughs> uh oh, don't put her in this bed then. Put Alice to bed. Look, an actual bed with actual mattress and. I know. Remove shoes. Uh, uh, no. No, I, I will not be a party to this. <laughs> she is old enough to do that herself. <laughs> yeah, she is. It's 
It's a good thing she's wearing her pajamas under everything. Well, yeah, because they ran out at night, didn't they? Um, I don't know. Dude, if she's cold and running a fever... I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Reassure. Uh -huh. We need rest. Get a good night's sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Um, uh, complicated? Sure. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Um, sincere? Sincere. I don't know. I really don't know. She is lumping herself in with you guys. I, I know. what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something well, for That was fast. Her. Thank you. That looks like the spaghetti car made. I'll get washed and dried. Uh, suggest eating. Suggest eating. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? Because she hasn't had anything since we left. She's an android. And, uh... <laughs> and there is uh, no way... I... And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I say that, I don't know if an android could run a fever. I don't know. Go we'll close those curtains. I'll stay with her a while. But, um... What was I trying to say? Uh, no way you would let a kid eat spaghetti in bed. Right? I don't even know that I would try to eat spaghetti in bed. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like a bad idea. Wait, what else? Close the curtain. Oh, we there did that. Go. Okay. It just took a minute. It was still registering. Why do your clothes still look like... I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, no, that's right. What? I was trying to figure out if the door was opening the wrong way, but it wasn't. Um, your clothes still look like android clothes. Um, it's not. Are they not? But it has a very similar look to your well, android me, uniform. Well, let me get in close. No, you'll have a cutscene with Rose when you talk to her. Yeah, it does kind of look like android clothes. Is that... A wiener dog. Yeah, a wiener dog or an out? No, it's a hippo. Oh, ha, yep. Yeah. Singing, a singing hippo. A wiener hippo. A subwoofer? <laughs> That's what it looked like it said. Better to have a wiener hippo on the wall than a hippo, hippo wiener on the wall. <laughs> That's hard to say. Hippo wiener. <laughs> hippo wiener's easier wiener than hippo. wiener hippo. Wiener hippo. Okay. Come for the art. game. Stay for the highbrow conversation. <laughs> <laughs> hippo wieners. Some hippo wiener hippos. wieners. We'll just say it three more times. <laughs> I'm Kara. I'm going to read this, this magazine now. before we talk. <laughs> I wanted to, but it wouldn't let me. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Yes, I see what you're saying. Do you see what I mean? Like, She's it's got not. really broad shoulders, and her head's only like a fifth of the width of her Her shoulders. head looks like Kara's size. Yeah. But everything else is huge. Like, but but not, not just chunky, like like I said, she's got really broad shoulders, yeah, and a very narrow head for those shoulders. Like she just needed to be a smidge percentage they, bigger head. They watched so an Eddie Murphy movie. Deviants doing in the snow with a little girl. Well, she looks better close up. Yeah, she does. Um, sincere. Sincere, yeah. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening. Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Um. Uh, thanks? Say thanks first, yeah. I don't yeah. know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. Uh, That's about her. 
Ro oh, about her? Okay. Son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Well, you could eat the vegetables. Um, Many events. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Um. No choice? We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Wait, you gotta stop and read the magazine before yep. you go see what's happening. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> no. Did they take it away? It's like this place treats things like emergencies seriously. Right. Dang it. Is that a bunch of bio components in there? I it's think something. that's like robot parts. Pardon me, android parts. <laughs> What's going on? It's oh. Mary. She just shut down. There's something about Mary. What does it say on the wall? I don't know. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Barry Nine will save us. Let them be. Can we help? Oh. Get back in bed, Alice? little Missy. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Um, stay. I don't want to take her outside. Outside? No, I think it meant like out of this room, right? Yeah, but I want to stay. Okay. Because she's looking at them really intently. I think she's going to do something. She yellowed him, at least. Yeah. Come on, Alice. Oh, she blued him. Good the job, Alice. Just looking at him. blew him. That's a little <laughs> girl. <laughs> You just shouldn't run, run around the house in her underwear. Yes. I'm fine. Um, can we go back in here? No. All right, now it's time to explore. Maybe read the magazine. Nope, still not. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh, no! Average casual guy. Time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! You go be a mom. Why does Adam look like he just got off a job off like a fishing trowel? Because <laughs> he was chopping wood? 
They are not going to let you read that magazine. I want to read it. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. You can just see about that? Would you like checking to make sure the river's frozen enough? Or? You see her outside jumping up and down on the river. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's fine. Hey! <laughs> World War Three. Who would win it? World War Three. Who would win it? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with Trojan and Myrmidon Cyberlife units, which are specially adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through solid ice. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, <laughs> that's a mouthful, mm -hmm. has described both U.S. and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also commented on the neck-and-neck -neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are so evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that everybody would lose. Oh, and you get to read an ad. Yeah. Is that Kara? That's her face. The number one Android for home assistance. Treat yourself. The AX400. AX400. That's Kara. Starting at just eight ninety nine. Whoa, that's creepy. Whoa. Did that count as looking around? What? The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? Find evidence of deviance. Um. The closet? And they know we're here. We have to open the door. Um, your b boy was uh, Luther, I whatever. Was He's a. Uh... Yeah, I'm. I knew it. That's that's one. Okay, that shuts the door off. The oh, other that's... door that the other deviants are in. Hurry, Luther, take Alice and hide. That's two. Upstairs. Um... Uh. Yep. Yeah, upstairs. 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 Come on, Alice. Okay. Uh, Jeez. Close Jeez. the door to the garage or wherever those people, the bathroom where those people yep. were. I don't know what else. I think you should have um, changed the magazine just... to not have your face on it. That That's it. Two left. Come on. And what about the clothes on the... No? Who is that enough? I don't know. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Whew. Okay, here we go. May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Come on, kid. <sighs> Maybe he's the last piece of evidence. I'm so tense. Okay. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? Come on, Kara. Um, oh, Alice. There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? Uh, no. No, there are no androids here. I can't figure out what other evidence, evidence. there would be. Yeah.
Oh, found it. Good job. Was that it? Probably. <sighs> no deviant evidence left. Coffee, Coffee served. served. Don't, Don't arouse suspicion. suspicion. What's his suspicion level at? I don't know. Is it the blue bar? Right. I don't know. How you doing, officer? No more questions? Just gonna stand here? I guess so. You're arousing suspicion, dude. I'd just be in here, yeah. 10%. 10%, yes. that's pretty good. Yeah, he came in at like 30 or something. Woo. Did it go up? I don't know. It's an awfully lot of bar for 10%. Well, your daughter seems to have woken up. Let's call her down then. Can we do that, please? Call her down? Right. Don't arouse suspicion. Okay. What's your name, son? Adam. My name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. Terrible liar. I don't know if that's I good or bad. Go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh, geez, Is really? Else in the house? Washing machine. Sure. It's nothing. The the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Keep reading a shirt like average casual guy. <laughs> He's gone. You let this girl put on yes. pants. I know. He's driving me crazy. Oh, it's close now. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Put your pants on, girl. I'm sure her fever's broken, yeah. Right. It's been 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, look, your explore the house did not go well. It, like, completely, like, shut me down. Yeah, yeah. You saw that, Yeah, right? every time you tried to do anything, it wouldn't let you, and then okay. you were like... So, cop at the door. Find and hide the deviants. Okay, well, that... That's interesting. It looks like any of the three options would have given you the... No, that option. There's a lot of different choices there. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. But it went well. Yes. We're here. Police Oof. is gone. Yes. We talked our way out of everything. Ah. Uh, oh. That was stressful. One in the that wind call. That was a stressful. One in the wind call. <laughs> After we lost Connor now, I feel like I know. Everything is just edge. like 10 times worse. And uh, again, we got a little girl in tow, so that makes it right. like that much harder. So. All righty. Well, that's it. Yeah. We're done. Game okay. over. Wow. Well, Policeman now. left. We're just going to stay here with Rose. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I can't afford to lose anybody. No, else. no. We're done. <laughs> it's safe Adam here. will just have to get used to it. <laughs> no. No, guys. Uh, as always, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, please come back for the next one. And until uh, then, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.